Hello everyone, it's Lauren from Unicorn Reviews here. Today we'll be taking a look at the LG 27EA73, which is a IPS 27 inch computer monitor. Um, it comes with pretty much everything. So you've got MHL connection, you've got stereo speakers, it's fully color calibrated. You can even put it as, as if it were two screens that were on one screen. Now these aren't the ultra wide screens, this is just a giant 27 inch 1080p screen. Um, let's see if it says anything. Nope, the back is identically the same and it also doesn't come with any extra information on the sides. So let's open up the box shall we? Um, if at any point in this video there is some Windows license falling out of the box uh, it doesn't come with that but it's just an extra thing I ordered and I didn't receive it with my package so hopefully it should come with that for me um, anyway this is quite a hard box to get open there we go I don't even have a um, boxer's knife yep there's my window slides and the build now, it comes packaged like this, so it's pretty good styrofoam packaging. Um, this will be quite hard for me to actually unbox because my tripod is already as high as it'll go. So, anyway, this part just lifts out. And then, this is your display comes um, pretty neatly packaged in one of those bags. We'll take a look at the display itself later. And then, yeah, that's not really helping you guys. There we go. And this is some more styrofoam. And then you get the foot of the screen. the piece that connects the monitor to the foot and then you also get a driver CD which they didn't bother putting it in one of those little paper envelopes uh, let's just open this thing shall we the little accessory bag so you get a um, driver CD a guarantee booklet an installation guide. What else do we get? We get a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. That's pretty cool. Uh, power brick. It also comes with a VGA cable which obviously if you're spending uh, 290 euros on a screen you're not going to be using a VGA cable and the power cable itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm now, now that I'm done with the unboxing, uh, I'm going to install the screen and we'll do some testing with it. Alright guys, so we have the screen put together. It actually comes with a steel foot which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see the main features with this screen, not only its size but it has almost no bezels. So that's really really cool. If you put it up to a black wall you can't actually see it which was why I'm now um, facing the orange wall. Um, yeah, so you got your uh, menu buttons, uh, key buttons, function buttons, auto adjust buttons, a button to change your input because you got quite a few of them, and then just your power button. This is all nicely uh, brushed aluminum, and then this is all plastic. Well, it's steel with a plastic cover. Uh, I haven't actually taken the protection off of the back. Am I in vision? Yeah, cool. So, on the back you got your power connector, two HDMI's, your VGA, then you got audio in and headphones out. So that's all pretty cool. That's really all you can say. It's, uh, it's rather thin, the screen. So um, let's just put it so it shows up as... There we go. It's not very thick. It wouldn't look too bad on, a, on your desk really. It's quite heavy. It tilts 
backwards and forwards so you can't go up or down or tilt sideways but I don't really know why you would want that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to a computer and let's see how the colors are, how, re how responsive it is and the usual type of things. Alright guys, um, we're currently running um, Unigen Valley. Uh, obviously it doesn't really make sense to tell you guys how uh, an image looks just by having a camera on a screen and then you guys have to watch it on your screen. It's like reviewing audio products, you know, you have to be there to actually know how good it is because if you're not there you don't actually, well you only get your own screen actually. So, what I have got to say though is even though it comes with these ultra fine bezels, there's still like a little black border here where there's no actual screen, so it's not a bezel-less screen, it does actually have them. Uh, they're still pretty, pretty narrow though, so that's all pretty cool. Um, so this right here is on the right is the uh, LG27, what was it called again? I have no idea. Um, EA, LG27 EA73, and then over here we have an LG 23 inch screen so let's just zoom out a bit that's the size difference um, both of them have really really good color um, the, uh, the 27 is probably where we're gonna go to um, it's a lot darker I, I haven't really been messing with the settings which I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the buttons on this are not actual physical buttons, they're just light touch buttons. And then in this menu, you can change the volume, brightness, the usual stuff. Oops. Uh, I have no idea what I just pressed. That's pretty weird though with these. Is because there's no actual click on the button. You don't know whether you've pressed it or not. I mean, I'm not saying they should have put vibration in like on a smartphone or something, but anyway, these are just all your options you can go through. You can also have super resolution. Let's see what that does for us. Um, I probably, I can't see anything change. I don't know if you guys can. Please let me know in the comments. Overscan. I have no idea what that does. Is actually anything visually changing? Other than that, nope, nothing is changing here. Black level. It's now set to low. We can also probably set oops. That's pretty annoying. There's no up button. But you can see the difference when you change the black level. I like it on high actually. Um, anyway, what's next in our... Um, there we go. So you can also change colors. Um, this is only available in the sub. You can choose which is the audio input. And then you can change the language of the screen. There's 17 different languages. Uh, you can also change whether you want it to show the light here when the power is on, whether you want the buttons to make any sound. You know, you guys can probably read this right. So it will tell you. There's quite a lot of options in this screen. So um, I guess we're going to have to do a conclusion All now. right, guys, time to do the conclusion on the LG 27 e 73 uh, IPS cinema screen monitor thingy as they call it. So it's 27 inch which is about 68 centimeters. Um, I'm going to start off with the bad things about it. Um, the cable it comes with, it doesn't actually come with a real DVI cable or an HDMI cable. It's like HDMI to something small. I don't even know what it is but I had to go get another HDMI cable which, you know, 290 euros this screen, that's not very nice of them actually. Uh, another bad thing about them is the black bezel surrounding it. 
They're, they have gone with an incredibly thing. I think it's like one and a half millimeters thin, the metal bezel. But then there's just, you know, eight millimeters of screen you're not using. So I don't know why they chose to do that. I haven't found anything in the options to turn that up. Also, when you turn off the screen, you can actually see that. Differently, uh, there's a differently colored, slightly less black border around it. There we go. Um, other than that, though, that it's, I have also not saved any trees yet. It says. Other than that, I think it's a brilliant screen. I mean, there's a very, very good color from it. Um, I can't, again, I can't really tell you what the audio is like, but it's decent, so decent is good for embedded um, speakers in a screen with bezels this thin. So very good color, it's, it all looks very, very fluent, uh, it's nice and big, which, you know, a big screen, people tend to go bigger and bigger all the time, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's really really good contrast and a lot better than the screen on the left obviously I have both screens next to each other so you guys can say what you like most but other than that I mean yeah it's just a very very good screen so um, review award time I still haven't uh, figured out my actually my actual award logos but I'm just gonna give this one a silver award um, for the reasons said, it doesn't actually cover a DVI or HDMI cable, nor an audio cable. And in this price range, you know, it has the black borders around it. You know, they're not physical borders, but they're there. Um, that's the good thing, but it has got amazing image quality. Uh, I really like the styling of it. Uh, it's really easy to assemble, it's just a metal ring in the bottom, you just screw it in, and then the screen just slides into the little base so that's really 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 great with this screen but then it has got those down points so that was Lawrence from Unicorn Reviews and I'm out and if you got any comments or requests and um, yeah just feel free to say whatever you want in the comments but keep it clean thank you very much for watching